This time next week we'll be on the verge of discovering the identity of the new champions of the world. It's a feat Brazil's women are yet to achieve, although they came so close last time out in China. The USA have been there, seen it, done it twice. Brazil, the only team yet to concede a goal here in Germany. Consistency in their lineup, one of the significant reasons. Again, only one change today. Diana restored in defence in place of Renata Costa. This 3 4 3 system really employed elsewhere, but it works for them. Formiga and Eschter with a solid spine. Cristiane, Rosana, and Marta with mobility, and most importantly, the goals. Brazil with an immaculate record so far here in Germany. The USA, the team to beat according to the latest world rankings. It really is the battle of the Giants here in Dresden. The officials led by Australia's Jackie Melsham. Melcham, who was in charge of the Germany against Canada on the opening day. For the USA, O'Reilly returning after a slight groin strain. She comes in for Rapino, otherwise the team that played Sweden. Pia Sundhager talking about the importance of the flanks today. O'Reilly, Cheney, Key, the States with six different scorers so far, despite all the attention on Wambach, who along with Lapelbet is just one booking away from a ban. For the USA in all black today. Just taking a look at the players on the bench. Well, all sorts of match turners potentially. Beatrice, young striker for Brazil. a star-studded match that revives memories of Hangzhou four years ago. That was the day Brazil reached their first ever FIFA Women's World Cup final. Today, the day the USA want their revenge. Formiga in strongly, straight away on box. Looking here for Rodriguez. Consistency in personnel for both these teams through the group stages to this point. Oh, a little subtle nudge by Brazil to give the USA the first chance to test Andrea in Brazil's goal. Lauren Cheney. who got the campaign underway so well for the States in their match against Korea DPR. And that's not the best of free kicks. Here's Rampo. And Shannon Box is running in behind here. Oh, it's a dangerous one! It's in! One minute, 16 seconds gone, the States lead remarkably! A dreadful mix-up for Brazil. Well, the ball bypassing one back came through for Box here. And it's a, a real horror of an own goal. It's a nasty slice. Well, you have to say that's really unfortunate on Diana. Back in the team today in place of Renata Costa. But what a start to this quarter-final. Well, two... Defensive errors really from Brazil in quick succession there. Now Rodriguez. First goal that Brazil have conceded here in Germany. Also closing down uh, Solo. 
Christiana. Underneath this, along with Rappel Bet. Solo winning her 99th cap for the USA today. Formiga. Cristiane. Fabiana. Rosanna lurking in the middle. And Marina's getting there as well. And one or two butterflies perhaps in the uh, two squads here. Defenders looking a little bit shaky here early on. Krieger mopping up. O'Reilly. Oh, shifted the feet really well there, but uh, Rodriguez will have to scamper to get back. There was an own goal, of course, in the semi-final in Hangzhou four years ago. Leslie Osborne, Arthur then scored twice. Cristiano also on target. And Shannon Box here who was sent off just before half-time in that game. Formiga just tried to uh, screen the ball away, but Box went scything through. Diana, who uh, never played in the Under-19 Women's World Cup in Canada some nine years ago. Well, it just couldn't have been a better start for the USA. That's uh, for Clayton Lima, the coach of Brazil. A bit of a horror show early on. Former scout with uh, Carlos Alberto Pereira with the men's national team. Free kick given. And uh, quickly taken by the USA. Rodriguez goes near post. Too strong for her. It's Rampo. Oh, miscontrolled by Box. Well, Pierre Sundhage, after the setback against uh, her home nation on Wednesday last week, she gave the players a couple of days just to uh, regroup a little bit. She was talking just before the match about... Uh, Getting the players working hard at the start of the week, but then maybe just easing off a little bit. Knowing how in uh, tournament play it's so important the players get proper rest. Here's a bit of a scare for Solo. He has to uh, come galloping across here to the near side. Solo, who's now passed Mary Harvey as uh, the goalkeeper for the United States, who's... Uh, Played the second most number of games at FIFA Women's World Cups. Marta, what a ball that is. Well, she and Marina should be on the same wavelength as they play not only for uh, Brazil, but also for the same club team. Can't be offside from a throw. Spotted the possibility so quickly and lashed it in. As a player, Pia Sundhager actually scored one of her five goals uh, for Sweden against Brazil in the first stage in the 1991 edition of the tournament, the very first FIFA Women's World Cup some 20 years ago now. Erica, Fabiana, well, Brazil really catching their breath here, here's Rodriguez for the USA, Rampo, Shim Bueller playing in uh, alternate positions today. Mueller's typically played to the left of Rampone in uh, previous USA matches, but they swapped around today. 
Interesting, uh, slight tactical switch by Pio Sundhage. Defenders don't necessarily particularly like that. But obviously these two feel very comfortable with it. Might also be a, a ploy to try and keep uh, more of a watch on Marta, perhaps. Sometimes uh, a bit of experience and tighter marking on an individual can pay dividends as we see uh, the typical Mexican wave. Krieger winning the throw. And again, the USA looking sharp and alert for these uh, quick set pieces. Crowded out. Cheney, too forceful. Oh, and Cheney, who does bring this uh, extra attacking edge to the USA. I was reading that she actually had uh, open heart surgery when she was just three years of age. So uh, this uh, very special moment, perhaps more so than for others who've. Uh, reached the pinnacle of the women's game by playing here in Germany. She's had uh, rather more hurdles to uh, overcome than others. Here's Cheney. Bueller looking long here for one back potentially. Again, rather untypical of the way that Pia Sundhager has evolved this playing style for the USA. Rosanna, Christiana, Fabiana in pursuit of this. Whether it'll hold up enough? No, it won't. Of course, with the Marta so dominant in the awards that uh, have been won in recent years you tend to forget that uh, Cristiano was actually voted the third best player in China four years ago Fabiana and Cheney locking together and uh, Rosanna displeased at the award of the USA throw. Well, there was a bit of treading on each other's toes going on in there as well, I have to say. But uh... Rampone with this free kick for the United States. 11 minutes played, leading through an own goal from Diana. It's a great one too, and one back came to meet it. So too did Andrea. What a great delivery this was. One back with her height and power. Goalkeeper with the last touch. Come back with the faintest of flicks. Cheney. Oh, another miscue. It's come back for Rodriguez, who's going to let it roll for the corner. Oh, <laughs> no kicks awarded. And now the referee's changed her mind. Credit to uh, Jackie Melcham for uh, correcting the call. Bueller, one back. Remember, one back with uh, that first goal for her in the last match against Sweden. Deep towards box. Goalkeeper Andrea punching. Needs assistance. Retrieved here by Shannon Box. Looking here for width with Cheney. 
Lloyd in pursuit. I guess it was uh, Carly Lloyd who scored the winner in the Olympic Games three years ago, also in China. That's a solitary goal enough to beat Brazil then. The Americans have dominated over the years against Brazil. 27 prior meetings. And the USA with 23 victories to two, two draws. That's a four showdowns at the Olympic Games. Just the two gold medal matches, both in 2008 and prior to that, 2004. Hey, hey, hey. USA with a chance to build here, they've got three, four players forward, it's behind Cheney. What you'll see with Brazil is the way that Formiga and Eshter provide the uh, solid platform in midfield. And uh, Marta, Cristiano Rosana, all just rotating ahead. That's off Lloyd. There's Eshter. to try to manoeuvre, just a toe away by Krieger. Seemed to get the ball. Fifteen minutes gone. Tricky one. One of those where the on-rushing striker, if they get a touch... Well, who knows what could happen. Erika had gone uh, pushing through the middle. And for the moment, Erika has actually moved almost into a midfield role. And the, uh, Brazil just reshuffling a little bit here. USA having uh, won the tournament uh, twice in the 90s they've been third in the three other tournaments oh, 50 50 really Krieger just shielding the ball away from Marta Krieger Well, width so important for the States today. O'Reilly's whipped ball in. And Cristiani losing out to Lapelbet. Good effort! Oh, she looked as if she might even have been a little off balance when she struck that. She had a miserable night against her Sweden, but she was very close there to number two. has dropped back here now. But it is a very fluid uh, style of play for Brazil. Uh, yet to find their inspiration here. when you bear in mind those uh, two Olympic finals and indeed uh, the last FIFA Women's World Cup 
Well, Brazil have been runners up in the last three four for events. They feel it's high time that uh, they won the major prize. Foot up there from Marta. Very close to uh, connecting with Rampone's head there. Fabiana gives it away, and that's uh, Lloyd to Bueller. Oh, Cheney came for it, Fabiana with the interception here for Brazil. And a little bit clumsy and awkward from Cheney. Clear little uh, tug. Once again, Erica starts uh, jogging forward here. Erica, one of the goal scorers against Equatorial Guinea last time out. Solo. Such a reliable performer for the United States. Here's Fabiana. Well, Cheney's got to be careful here. That's a couple of infringements. A couple of free kicks given away. Cristiane, Alina, Erica, and once those forward here, looking for Cristiane there. Clever ploys in the back post, but uh, the USA have them covered so far. Marta. To Erica. Well, the mistake has been forced. Is Fabiana Cristiano. A wicked ball in. Mueller slicing it awkwardly here. Back in by uh, Eshter. Still alive here. Eshter for Brazil. Corner. Well, the USA looked a little off balance there, but Le Pelbet uh, in the right place to knock it behind. It was uh, Le Pelbet, of course, who had that wicked deflection that allowed uh, Sweden to score that long-range free kick against Hope Solo the other day. Once again, they've got the uh, giant presence of uh, Lina around the back post here. Oh, and there she is, sight netting! Well, Alina towers above the uh, rest of the players out there, one meter eighty. Solo misjudged it that time. Has to be said, the USA had plenty of cover on the line. But, uh, almost at the midway point of the first half here, and uh, Brazil yet to get an effort on the USA goal. Two efforts wide of the mark so far. It's quite a contest, you know, between uh, Alina and Wambach. Uh, Wambach looking for a bit of protection. USA change of routine here. Clever, very clever, but uh, so far, no end product, and Marta can break. Suddenly, there's a threat here to the USA. Marta running from inside her own half. It's a dazzling run by Marta. She's taking it all away. 
just that lightning burst of acceleration that she is so famous for. Look at this, the speed, one end to the other. Linking with Cristiano here, Marta just goes galloping forward, charging on, and the USA just cannot get back on terms. When she has the ball at her feet, she flies like an eagle. And here she is again. Omega. And again, a little toe poke for Cristiani. What uh, Wombach is doing in particular for the States is at the moment trying to pull down the uh, what we call the inside right channel, more to the right side. Rodriguez more through the middle. And it's designed to just pull one or two of these uh, Brazilian defenders out of position and open up a few gaps. Some uh, stars and stripes in evidence on the far side. Well, that's the first real warning for the USA of the power, the pace, the energy of Marta. Buna Rodriguez. is uh, booked and free kick given against Marta and she's late shot on the toe dazzling bright sunshine in Dresden into the mix my box beyond Cheney, beyond everyone. Someone was telling me earlier the uh, forecast is for uh, thunderstorms later. Absolutely no evidence of that right now. It's uh, burning down brightly. Well, it used to be East Germany here. Krieger's allowed to run. Rodriguez outside. Flags up. Wouldn't have counted anyway. Sharp call by Sarah Ho. And a correct call too. A couple of yards in that. Screaming goalkeeper Andrea. here for Cristiane, Rampone tracking step for step. Oh, playing it in some uh, dangerous areas there, the USA. Two for cover here, Rosanna. Marta, Formiga! Well, the ever industrious Formiga popped up in a great spot there. Clever pass from uh, Marta across the edge of the USA area. Four shots from Brazil, none yet on target. Step 
needing to uh, sort out her uh, footwear possibly here after that collision with Krieger. Oh, looking for an obstruction. Sometimes uh, Marta does look around at the uh, referee if she feels that uh, there's the slightest contact. That's O'Reilly, who's temporarily come and switched to the USA left. Now Erika for Brazil, Formiga, Cristiane. And fouled by Lloyd, yellow card. Acknowledging the error here. It was lovely skill from uh, Cristiane. Lloyd just unable to uh, pull out. Ali Lloyd, not one of those who's been uh, booked previously. So, no immediate damage done. But uh, Cristiano just receiving a little bit of treatment here. There's a left arm inevitably that came up from Lloyd as they uh, almost like uh, railway station buffers tried to avoid a serious collision. Brazil momentarily down to 10. Goodness me, Rosanna with the spectacular bicycle kick. Brazil always renowned for these flashes of individual brilliance. Cristiano back on here to uh, restore them to 11. Here's Lloyd. Rodriguez peels away ahead. And, uh, it's a bit disjointed at the moment. The game's struggling to find its flow. But the USA loading the Brazil penalty area, one back again going in with Andrea. Always a good thing for a goalkeeper when they can uh, punch away into, I suppose you should call it no woman's land. Safe areas on the pitch where no one's going to do you any damage. Hope Solo would hope to uh, break a 20-year-old record the other day with the consecutive minutes without conceding. But, uh, unfortunately for her, the uh, Sweden penalty changed all of that. Oh, Fabiana intercepted, but then gave it straight back to Shannon Box. Here's Le Pelbet, whose thigh gave Sweden their second. It was actually uh, changed in hindsight to an own goal. Fabiana. Cristiano. Tight marking from Rampone. Krieger back to Solo. Flick off the uh, defender, nearly fell kindly for Rodriguez. All the talk coming into the tournament about uh, Marta and Wambach 
potential stars of the tournament and indeed big it prince whose uh, much publicized press conference uh, rather shook everybody here in germany when she admitted she wasn't in the right frame of mind marta and one back have delivered here marta with a quite brilliant display against norway when they uh, really unraveled the scandinavians Christiana still not moving too freely. Well, Rosanna being joined by uh, Erica a long way forward here. Solo has to get that and does. Been really good goalkeeping, plucking it. Off uh, Rosanna's head. It may be the uh, conditions here. It is uh, very warm indeed, high 20s. But uh, at the moment, this game has not really fired on all cylinders. That's really good goalkeeping by Hope Solo. And had that to shoulder surgery back in September last year. But uh, she's held on well there. Barnhart had uh, been covering in some of the warm-up matches for the USA. Rosanna by necessity having to leave the field just for the time being. Really has been quite a slow tempo to the match so far. Just over 10 minutes to half-time. Notwithstanding, that's a fantastic start for the States. Now O'Reilly, one back, Cheney lurking centrally. Is Krieger. He's come here for box. The Pelbet. It's interesting when Rodriguez pulls wide, Cheney goes uh, up through the centre. USA enjoying the larger share of the possession so far. Here's Christiane unleashing one. That is Brazil's first effort on goal. One of those that if they uh, just drop in front of the goalkeeper and zip away, you just know, don't know quite what will happen. It's uh, Brazil's first effort on target in the match. Now Fabiana, maybe that'll give them a lift. In the sense that they need one right now. Cristiano. Oh, nearly a great through ball. Formiga had uh, made a, a really interesting looking run. Diana, his own goal after, by my watch, about 75 seconds gave the United States the lead here. The ball against Shannon Box. There you go. Rosanna, Fabiana. Not the greatest uh, attempted clearance there by the States. Fabiana after Rodriguez. Mistake of the crossbar! Well, Hope Solo was looking nervy and edgy there, that's for sure. Rodriguez with the initial error. And here, Fabiana with uh, what looked as if it was a, a cross rather than a shot, but it was dipping wickedly. Brazil edging ever closer here. And this one off the crossbar.
Erica. It's Marta and Box. Are just unable to uh, drag it back. Sometimes you feel that Brazil tick when Marta starts to really rock and roll. Certainly, uh, the Brazilians, when they arrived at the stadium here today, looked uh, really relaxed. Once again, the musical instruments off the bus into the uh, changing rooms. Marta was on triangle duty. <laughs> One back, Shannon Box. Once or twice, I've just wondered whether the USA might have uh, pulled the trigger. Marta. Rampone just uh, acting as the last line of security, back to Solo. Certainly the way that uh, the quarterfinals have gone so far with the hosts and reigning champions, Germany, knocked out by Japan yesterday. You would say that uh, these two have to be the favourites now for the tournament, at least based on world rankings. Japan played wonderfully well. Winners here today will face France in Mönchengladbach on Wednesday. Japan to face Sweden. There's a bit of a disadvantage for Amy Rodriguez, not being the tallest. Five minutes to half-time. An early goal for the United States still separates the teams here. Lloyd, just a wriggling free from a very tight situation. They've given the ball here to Marta, the last person they want to give it to. Cristiane onside. Rosanna's also gone to the back post here, but there's enough defensive cover for the United States. Pelbet might work out nicely here for one back. Again, two giants here, one back and Alina. Of the Brazilian captain. An unfussy defender in so many ways. Just goes about her business there despite the interlocking of arms momentarily. Rodriguez looping it for Cheney. Formiga. Cristiane. Rampone in nice and smartly, nice and uh, tight. The USA marking here. Now O'Reilly. Looking for one back. Riley, who scored that absolute screamer to uh, get the States underway against Colombia. Given away here to Rodriguez. Box following up here. Shannon Box! Well, a lack of good finishing was what uh, they claimed was the major factor in them failing here in Sweden the other day. That's maybe another half chance for the United States. Sometimes when the ball breaks for you like that, you really have to capitalise. Backs touch a little heavy that time. 
So Heather O'Reilly operating down the uh, right-hand side here for the States. Interesting that for the moment, Rodriguez has gone wide left. Cheney pushed up through the middle with one back. There's a slight tactical changes that uh, permeate a match. Here's Fabiana for Brazil. Cristiane. Wriggling free, then delicately laying it out here for Marina. Applause here from uh, fans who, many of them, are home-based. German support has been quite outstanding here. We wouldn't expect uh, interest to uh, wane in some of these major matches, but there's a yellow card for uh, Alina. Well, the referee showing a yellow card here now was that to Marta. Once or twice we've seen little reactions here. Marta a little bit volatile at the moment. You wonder if uh, these little flashpoints might prove costly to Brazil. There is this amnesty after the, uh, the end of the quarter-finals. So if uh, players do have a yellow going into the semis and they pick up another one there, then they won't miss the final. But here's the reaction of Marta. And you just can't do that. She's not the captain. Alina's the captain. Not that any uh, physical contact with the referee uh, is allowable. We've got a couple of minutes to be added here. Two minutes signal by the fourth official. Cristiano. Again, look how tight the USA get when uh, Brazil are in those sorts of areas. You're going to have to work really hard to keep uh, Brazil at bay here. Well, that looks as if she's getting a little bit frustrated at times by the uh, close attention she's receiving. Just uh, spinning around her uh, marker. Rampone with the USA free kick. Stoppage time, end of the first half, and that's a waste. Playing into the sunshine. Which is rather piercing at the moment. It's a first half that certainly had its moments. But at times the uh, tempo and the atmosphere has dropped. Always a concern for, for players coming into these knockout stages that, you know, potentially we've seen yesterday with both quarterfinals on Saturday going to extra time, that players have to be able to last a full 120 minutes. That's a, a sapping ask. Lloyd. And Bueller, and really now the States just want to close out the first half. 1 0 it is, and a tremendous start for the USA. An unfortunate own goal for Clayton Lima's Brazil. Diana putting through her own net after, by my watch, about 75 seconds. Since that point, though, Brazil have grown in strength. They've hit the bar through Fabiana. Marta notably came racing through and fired over. But Diana's own goal separates the teams at the break. Brazil nil, the USA won. There are five key steps to tackling the coronavirus. Hands, elbow, face, distance and feel. Comece pelas mãos. Por favor, lave as mãos com frequência usando sabão ou gel desinfetante. With your elbows bent, 
please cover your nose and mouth if you sneeze or cough. If using tissues, dispose of them immediately. Respecto a la cara, evita tocarte tus ojos, nariz y boca, así puedes evitar que el virus entre en tu cuerpo. Si vous vous sentez mal, restez chez vous et suivez scrupuleusement les consignes des autorités sanitaires. Clayton Lima. Well, he uh, has got a team that's tested Hope Solo on a couple of occasions. One that's hit the bar from Fabiana. Andrea at the other end has been uh, forced to punch away on a couple of occasions too. The USA, 45 minutes away as it stands from reaching the FIFA Women's World Cup semi-finals yet again. But if they're going to uh, get past Brazil, who destroyed them in Hangzhou four years ago, they will need to build on that early advantage given to them by an own goal from Diana. This is Aline Cristiano. Lloyd for the USA. One back. His goal against Sweden was her tenth at the FIFA Women's World Cup. There's actually only a couple now behind uh, Michelle Akers, who's the uh, top scorer for the States. Akers and uh, Marta of Brazil on 12. Still two behind Birgit Prince. Rampone forward with a, a real up and under. Erica being challenged by Rodriguez. Here's O'Reilly, restored to the US team today. Krieger, Rodriguez, beaten to it by Erica. Free kick. Miller going through the back of Marta. I wonder if the coach tried to uh, just calm Marta down at half time. And she. Uh, is such a dominant figure in the women's game. There's a danger that sometimes it can uh, be perceived as a lack of respect when she uh, flashes up against a referee as she did at the end of the first half. No one questions or doubts her skill. It really is a revelation to uh, see her play here in Germany. And at the same time, now she's on a yellow card, she can ill afford another reaction like that. Fabiana. Having a go at Cheney and La Pelbet. And, uh, well, a good uh, doubling up by the States defensively. I just wonder how uh, fractious these Brazilian players will be in the circumstances with the pressure they must inevitably feel. La Pelbet uh, with a great sliding block there. Well, Rodriguez thought she might have been impeded as she tried to spin around her marker. She was replaced by uh, Alex Morgan in the match against Sweden. Esther to Fabiana. Oh, the real coming together. Omega. Wombach, who's been struggling a bit with an ear, a, a rather a heel injury. Just uh, almost like the Dodgems at the fairground, the way they just bounced off each other here. Formiga, quite formidable. She's uh, not the biggest out there, but she's uh, compact and muscular and enough to deflect Wombach away. Diana with this Brazil free kick in the early stages of the second half in Dresden. 
Not the greatest clearance. Turned back by Erica. Rodriguez goes scampering after it. It's not a great first touch, mind you. Referee being quite particular about where she wants the throw to be taken. His box. The Pelbet. One back. Lloyd has drifted forward here momentarily. Box now. Looking for O'Reilly. Oh dear. Just a few little uh, mistakes creeping into the game. Rosanna with a piercing ball looking for Christiane. Solo, who's been a goalkeeper at every age level with the United States. Here's O'Reilly. Wriggling free of Marina. Formiga there gets through so much work. Doesn't seem to uh, pop up just about everywhere. There she is again. Oh. Well, Marta's going here and uh, having a word about a yellow card. And Marta really has to be careful here. There's absolutely no need for Marta to get involved. It's a handball. Free kick's been given. The referee chooses whether it's uh, deliberate or not and whether it's therefore punishable with a caution. But for Marta to go and protest to the referee, she's out of line. Don't care how great her reputation or how brilliant her football. But she has to button it up a bit. Hester, Fabiana. One back. Looking to release Rodriguez. Hooked away by Erica. Well, most of the pitch now in shade. That's still baking hot down there in this uh, lovely enclosed arena that's the home of Dinamo Dresden here. Now Brazil getting players forward here. Formiga's gone dashing into the middle. That's another waste. Cristiano just uh, unable to uh, pull it back. Rampain, the Pelbet, sticking with it. But it's just a, an individual error once again. Well, Bueller, Rampo, pressured by Marta. Here's Rodriguez, one back's offside at the moment. But uh, she wasn't played in, she's not interfering with play. Christiane. For the moment, Brazil with Rosanna Moore to the wide left and uh, Marta through the middle, but they won't find it that way. It's a very strange atmosphere here in Dresden today. The fans only uh, getting into this sporadically. Well, a change here for the States coming up. Megan Rapino. And uh, that's going to be the cue for the change to be made. And it's uh, Cheney coming off. 
Well, in the first match against a Korea DPR, it was a big call for Pia Sundhager as to which of these two to play in the opener. Rapino had played a number of the warm-up games, but notably Cheney had scored a stoppage time winner in a friendly against Mexico. But uh, Rapino gets her chance here. Alina's clearance, not so great. Alina, who's largely stayed very tight to one back in the match. Rapino trying to get into the match, but is turned by Fabiana and beaten for pace by Fabiana. Cristiana being held. Cristiano working well, but La Pelvet with a toe, a, such an important toe as well. It's a match that has captured the imagination of uh, fans of the game all around the world. Two uh, of the superpowers in the women's game. Marina. Rosanna. A really good block by Box. And uh, offside as one back takes it. Then Alison Flynn, the assistant referee on this near side. Ooh, as the ball's played, that looks as if it's uh, on. But again, I always think it's uh, particularly difficult for the officials when one player's going forward, one the other direction, and you get this X-type movement, scissor-type movement. Hard to judge the pace. Marina. Rosanna. Alina in there ahead of one back, finding Marina. Rosanna. Rosanna, who scored that uh, opening goal for them, that match winning goal against Australia. After that, they seem to uh, relax a little bit, especially when Marta found her stride against Norway. Ball in. No signal uh, on this near side. Formiga battling with Lloyd and giving away the free kick. will uh, try and push up on Brazil here but they're not going to have too many troubles with uh, that long ball from uh, Hope Solo not unless one backs underneath it this is Box to Bula again easy for Erica finding for Miga a bit of space opening up for Brazil. Erica's continued her run forward. That's uh, part of the flexibility they get from this playing style. They still always have enough cover. Marina just tucking in here. Here she is. Look at that for a turn from Marta. She's lost Krieger. She's lost Box. And now she's found Rosanna. Great play here by Brazil. Rosanna, can she force a way through? Not if Rampone has anything to do with it, she can't. Well, it was a one-woman show again until Marta released Rosanna and then she was rather off balance. And Rampone steering to safety. Mm. Great effort from the uh, fans to dress up with uh, some fancy hats today. Goalkeeper Solo came and missed it. But the whistle has gone. And ball, I think. From Alina. 
Yeah. Well, I think has been yellow carded in this match. Bearing in mind the way that uh, Marta was going on about the handball for the USA a little earlier. I wonder what she made of that. Not sure that uh, Hope Solo realised what the free kick was given for there. Here's Rodriguez. Chase on for O'Reilly and uh, Diana. It really was an absolute firecracker that uh, O'Reilly let rip against Colombia. And now Brazil with space for Miga. Look at the gap on the far side there. Rapino is so well forward. Brazil finding Cristiane. Marta in the middle. Cristiane! Great effort. Solo spills but gathers at the second attempt. What a fine effort this was. Bending into the top corner. Looked acrobatic enough from Solo. She held on. One hour play. Again, the long ball from the States. Marta. Formiga. Cristiane. And Fabiana on the far side there. His Cristiano has Eshtir up through the middle, looking to slip through Fabiana. Great play, Brazil. Two in the middle, and Solo able to smother. They are stepping it up notch by notch. Cristiana finding her stride, and Solo blocking off the intended crossfield pass. What would the USA give for a second goal now, just to uh, give them a little bit of comfort here? I guess that's the reason that rapino has been uh, brought on. But there, Alina, <laughs> stepping across uh, Wambach, who went to hold her throat. Didn't see too much in that. USA at the moment on course to meet France in Mönchengladbach on Wednesday. Free kick USA. Christianis foul or Lloyd. Screened the ball really well there, Carly Lloyd. Just a little bit of frustration that's crept through in the Brazilian behaviour. You want players to be passionate. That's for sure. Rapino to deliver here. Bueller misses it. Oh, it's off the crossbar. Carly Lloyd. What a great free kick. She might have been partially unsighted, but she connected here so cleanly. Really hit the sweet spot there. She's got a couple of uh, colleagues leaping in front of her, which probably didn't make the job any easier. Both teams have struck the top of that goal now. Fabiana in the first half, Lloyd in the second. Pelbert's having a really good game at left back for uh, the USA here. A sign of her character after the huge disappointment of uh, Wednesday against Sweden. And Carly Lloyd, who scored that uh, winning goal in the Olympic final against uh, Brazil. Maybe box offside. 
as the ball comes in. I don't think Lloyd was. That's Krieger. Marta, Cristiane. Cristiane, she's just uh, tempted every time to cut in on that sweet left foot. That's a couple of times in quick succession we've seen Brazil's number 11 try that. One back. Not been too much joy in the match so far for Abby one back. And again, a sign of the respect in which she's held by Brazil. Marta. Oh, brilliant. Marta goes down. And the referee here. Making a mind up, there's a red card about to be shown. And this is a huge call. It's a red card. Brazil with a penalty. And Bueller dismissed. Four years ago it was Box sent off, approaching half-time. Denying her a clear goal-scoring opportunity. Marta with a lovely piece of juggling. They've each got a piece of each other there. But Marta makes the appeal and gets the call. Bueller sent off, Brazil penalty. Big moment in the match here. Cristiane, who scored twice against Equatorial Guinea in their last group match. Offering a prayer. Hope Solo being told to stay on her line. 25 minutes to go. It's a short run up. Cristiane, saved by Solo! The US maintain the advantage. Oh, what a save by Solo! It was such a short run up. It was a great height for a keeper in fairness, but she still got across so smartly. Oh, now what? The referee saying, take it again. Oh, and a yellow card for Solo for protesting. Oh, it's all happening here now. Is it because she's off the line? Well, not by much. Not by much. Well, notably, a change of penalty taker. Marta now. Marta for Brazil. One, one. If at first you don't succeed, try again. But you have to say for the United States, well, for Hope Solo especially, what controversy. This time Solo goes the other way. Marta drills it. 1-1. One, one. Well, sometimes those sorts of moments define matches. Marta stepping up to the plate, as they would say in the USA. First solo saves from Cristiane. Well, United States shell-shocked, now Brazil 
And you can hear the crowd's reaction all around the stadium here. Well, I'm curious about why the referee wanted that retaken. I can only assume it was because uh, she told Hope Solo to stay on the line and she maybe came a yard off it, maybe. And I have to say, that's very harsh if that's the case. Normally, the uh, goalkeepers are out to move as early as they like, as long as they're on the line. Brazil here taking advantage of the retake. They're looking to uh, capitalise with a spectacular second. Rosanna with the overhead. Oh, the USA have to dust themselves down, pick themselves up and come again. Well, a, quite astonishing uh, couple of minutes of the match. A red card, a saved penalty, a yellow card for Hope Solo and then a retaken penalty. Can quite understand that Brazil would change the penalty take up. I always think that uh, psychologically it's always a bad move if someone's just missed to uh, put them back on the spot. And well, there's uh, Alex Morgan ready to come on here for the States. And Shannon Box has uh, gone to fill in at centre back alongside a Rampo. And at the moment, the uh, USA still keeping uh, one back and Rodriguez forward. It's almost like a 4 3 2 the states are playing. And against this uh, Brazilian side, when they're playing uh, four across midfield, you have to say that you would think that the USA would want to take a a striker off and just to plug a little bit of a gap in midfield here. Maybe even bring on an established uh, centre-back and uh, push Box back into midfield. Well, it's uh, Rodriguez coming off and Alex Morgan coming on. Rodriguez getting through a great amount of work in the match but uh, with precious little end product really. Congratulated by Pia Suntaga as she leaves to be replaced by Alex Morgan with the pink hairband. Now Rapino on for Morgan. First touch for the substitute. She's only been on seconds and she slept in the area at the crucial moment. Well, two matches went to extra time yesterday. I wonder if we're set for another here in Dresden. Maybe, maybe not. Well, we've had uh, little cameos, really, from Brazil of some of the individual brilliance. Marta producing a lovely little uh, lift over that led to the penalty in the first place. And just receiving it in a dangerous area. Esther, Rosanna. USA shut the door. Well, that's going to be a hot topic tonight. Hope Solo saving the penalty, given a yellow, retaken. Erica's header. Now Box. Lloyd. Maybe the USA might go to a three at the back system. Be surprised if they do, mind. Box. He's just pulled up there as she released the ball there. One back. Erica away.
This is OK. The Pelbet's throw. Pino's continued the run. And a Rampone here with a back pass, which uh, could always potentially be awkward for Hope Solo. And speed of Marta. She has uh, this tremendous ground speed. There's no uh, woman in the game who has the same great burst of acceleration. Diana's header drops to O'Reilly. Just over 15 minutes of the 90 remain. Here's Lloyd for the USA, who's hit the crossbar already in the second half. That's Wayward, that's Wild. Well, curiously, in the match between uh, Sweden and the USA, we had a, an instance there where some people would argue that the Pelbet denied uh, Schelling a clear goal-scoring opportunity and didn't get sent off. But Bueller, given Red here, the crowd, 25-998, a sellout. Morgan for the USA, one bank central, corner. Still the drama of this FIFA Women's World Cup to unfold. Rapino with it. Oh, what's the referee unhappy with here? Wants to talk to Diana and Morgan. Three runners from deep here for the USA. Rapino hits long. They've worked pretty well for the States here today. To Alina. In, uh, the heave ho clear. Perfectly poised at 1 1. Well, an own goal, a red card, a missed penalty, a saved penalty. Pretty much a, a full set. Still someone has to go home. And still someone has to book their place in Wednesday's Munchengladbach semi-final. Rapino. Well, an eventful day. Brazil with a free kick here. Of course, you think back to Hope Solo being a central figure today. She played the first uh, four matches at the World Cup four years ago before the US coach, Greg Ryan, swapped it around for the semi-final. Received a lot of uh, criticism for doing so. Pino running into uh, Fabiana. Marta being whistled here by the German supporters. Rosanna. Oh. Too quick for her own good. That's a one back here by Cristiano. Couple of... Uh, Cristiano, Ronaldo type step overs there. Well, at the moment, you'd never guess that the Brazil have an extra player out there. The uh, player advantage after Bueller sent off for denying a clear goal scoring opportunity to Marta is Rosanna. Marta makes her run, cut out though. Krieger finding box to Le Pelbet. It's 
such a consistent performer during the qualifiers, Amy Lapel, but now Rapino. A little bit too much oomph in that for one back for Morgan. No doubting that uh, Pierre Sundhager, having told the players, get the ball out wide, use the width, get the balls into uh, one back from wide. They've tried to do that. Adriana, by the way, making her uh, 50th international appearance today. So too for Miga for Brazil. Lloyd. And Lloyd last, according to the assistant. O'Reilly to box, Rapino in space. There she is. Needed instant control and didn't get it. Marta. Eshter going for the return. Marta. Oh, Marta lifts it on. Fabiana. And a hint of anticipation about that with uh, Marina. Brazil with a momentary injury. Well, Marta is... Uh, Undoubtedly a star in uh, women's football these days, but she's getting a bit of a rough ride from the fans here. I don't think they're too thrilled at the way that she's uh, performed here today. Maybe as well for some of the challenges she's made of the referee. Lloyd. Morgan. Well, Fabiana, corner. Fabiana thinks it should be a goal kick here. Well, we've had a series of uh, debatable calls. I suppose we'll always get that as long as the referee gets the key ones right. You never want to uh, lose the human element in the game. We don't want robots refereeing. Rapina. One back. Box. Krieger. Well, that's cute. And one back. Alina has been stuck to a light glue today. It's like a little yellow post-it note on one back's back. Rapino to deliver. Box, one back, far post once again. It's drilled long. Too long. No matter how much the coaches work on the set piece, it's always frustrating when they fail to come off like that. Eight minutes left. One goal now could well win it and book a place in the semi finals here. Diana, Marta, Eshter, Marta, Cristiane, Brazil moving the ball swiftly, caressing it here for Eshter. Marta wants it, Krieger's there. Maybe they took the wrong option. Some of them with their. Heads in their hands. But uh, Brazil here with a, a corner kick with seven minutes to go. Brazil's third corner. Cristiane around the back along with Alina. One back using her height to a good defensive effect here. And it's the USA's ball. Change to be made. And Brazil want to bring on Franciele. 
So Rosanna makes way. Well, this is where coaches are inevitably thinking about the possibility of extra time. Yes, there's the chance to win it in the next five minutes, but they're also thinking, well, we need some fresh legs to uh, steer us through a possible extra 30 minutes. Nicely weighted return, oh, and a driving run. They're looking for another penalty here. Went down a bit too cheaply. It was Diana, there is contact from Rampone. Well. On by O'Reilly. Five minutes and counting. Lloyd. Well, after all the drama of the uh, second half retaken penalty, Lloyd takes a tumble through a clipped heel from Francie Ellett. Set piece is always off for teams with uh, 10 players. Some of the best opportunities, really, to uh, test the opposition. It's less of a gamble when they want to commit players forward. They need some protection. They can't afford to commit everybody here. But Rapino with it. Where's it going to drop? Easy for uh, Erica to sweep it away. You guessed it, Marta. Seems to have turned into the villain of the piece here today. At least for some. Good run here. Franciele lurking. Brazil still. Brazil still and... Anywhere will do, Le Pelbet. Adjustments to footwear in the critical moments. One goal now, and that would pretty well be it. It's out. You think how players give uh, four years of commitment and toil to winning a place at World football's biggest showpiece. And we have four minutes here potentially from a team reaching the semi-finals or we're heading for extra time. We've had uh, nine extra times during the... Uh, duration of the FIFA Women's World Cup since 1991. Only had three before in uh, 1999. Diana. We'll take this free kick for Brazil. Just over two minutes left of the 90. Erica lurking behind one back. And again, uh, applause for the USA as they struggle on, they battle on with the 10 players to Brazil's 11. Both teams having hit the uh, crossbar in this match as well, don't forget. It's 1 1. The USA having led in the second minute of the match with an own goal from Diana. And then all the controversy surrounding the award of the penalty kick, the red card for Bueller, and then uh, Christiana with a penalty kick saved by Solo. Must admit, I didn't see too much wrong with it, that save. But the referee pulled it back and said, take it again. Marta stepped up, planted it, 1-1. And here comes O'Reilly, fouled by Erica Shawley. Free kick USA, 89th minute. Good work, O'Reilly. Rapino has to find the best delivery of her life now. We're moving into the 90th minute in Dresden. 
This World Cup quarter-final on a knife edge. Can Rapino find the killer delivery? Rapino it is. Brazil defend it well. And they're looking for Marta for the breakaway. There's certainly no rush here. In a way, Brazil probably suits them more to go to extra time, doesn't it, with the extra player? Oh, and uh, there's a strong reaction here. Rapino being pulled away. Yellow card to be shown. Three added minutes as Rapino is cautioned. The reaction made it look far worse. No doubting that Formiga uh, was tumbled. But Megan Rapino taking on some liquid as most of the players are on the near touchline here. It is a swelteringly hot down there. This may come down to stamina, strength, will to win. Ninety-one minutes played. USA with the free kick here. Although uh, Rapino was given the yellow, and uh, not reaching O'Reilly. Krieger comes forward. Nice guided header from Morgan. O'Reilly. Screened by Marina. And a goal kick awarded. Well, a thoughtful Pia Sundhaga. I wonder whether she has any... Uh, Tactical changes up her sleeve for the two periods of extra time that look inevitable now. Just one minute to go. Marina. Lloyd. Lapelbet. Can the USA summon one last meaningful attack? Ball kept in by Rapino. And she's uh, tried to whip it in early. Franciella missed it, O'Reilly, good give and go with Morgan, danger here for Brazil, O'Reilly, oh they need a good clearance, oh and it's come back, goodness me, everybody's flat out at the moment, Harley Lloyd missing her kick, USA fans whistling as Brazil try and break forward, Rapino steals it off, Marta, who's being portrayed as the villain by a large number of the fans here now. Admittedly, they'll be the USA fans. Krieger, O'Reilly, Morgan chasing, and Morgan has it. Oh, and smacks it against Diana, who is winded there, I think. It's extra time. Despite the injury, the referee blows for the end of 90 minutes. It is 1-1. That's the final action of the regulation 90. Her own goal from Diana, right at the start of the match. A controversial penalty retaken and scored by Marta. We have extra time on the way, but at the end of the regulation 90, it's Brazil 1, the USA 1. Diana, whose own goal gave the USA that remarkably early lead 
to Jackie Melcham, who really has made the key call of the contest with that retaken penalty. So another 30 minutes ahead to separate Brazil and the 10 players of the USA. Again, having uh, looked again at the replays of that key retaken penalty, I think the reason for it was the slightest of encroachments by Rampo as that uh, penalty was taken. Now, one back on for Morgan. Can she get there? No, Alina's there. That is a flag up anyway. I think uh, the assistant referee was none too happy with Hope Solo's protest when uh, when the American goalkeeper found out that the penalty would have to be uh, retaken. She then complained, got a yellow card for her trouble. But for me, that's that's a bit of a tough call for the US to take. Here's Cristiano. Marta in the middle. Joined as well by Formiga. Erica makes herself available uh, just inside here. And she is to complete this Brazilian triangle. Oh, and Deja Hina. Hansara will get there. Brazil lead. Marta. Well, the USA can't complain about that one. Hope Solo beaten fair and square. Marta just quicker, faster, cleverer. And Brazil for the first time in this quarterfinal in front. Watch her movement. It's patient, it's patient, it's patient. I think the Pelbet may just have been playing them onside. Brazil sort of uh, kept going when USA stopped, but Marta kept going and hooked it cleverly past Solo. Marta, who's now just one goal short of equaling Big It Prince's record of 14 goals in FIFA Women's World Cups. Brazil another step closer. 2-1 here in Dresden. USA corner. Oh, and it really could have gone anywhere. Way <laughs> Brazil are defending some of these. They look a little bit shaky. But Marta elegantly plays it forward. It's a great ball too. Here's Franciella. Formiga to the left. Marina losing out, but wins it back. Marina looking for Whitfear with Fabiana now. And it's another dangerous one. Solo commits and gets it. And she almost takes it off the toes of Cristiane. Two goals from Marta. Two goals for Brazil. And the USA, a goal down, a player down. Ball out. One back, uh, the judge to have been fouled. The uh, rhythm of Brazil starting to echo around Dresden.
Once again, Rapino it is who will mastermind this USA free kick. Oh, goalkeeper absolutely nowhere to be seen. Oh, Box and uh, Lloyd are coming around the back post, but Marta, as she does so often, stealing the headlines here. Cleverly kept in by Brazil. USA almost seemed to stop Box, didn't make a, a challenge at all, and somehow Marta just wrapped her foot around it. Hooked it over Solo and in off the post. And Marta blocking Lapelvitz. Attempted uh, through ball. USA throw to Rapino. Lapelvet. Sweet turn. Not often you see Marta beaten like that. Here's one back. Lloyd. Nice give and go. Carly Lloyd driving into the box. She needs support. Brazil happy to concede a corner here. Of Franciella. Seventh. USA corner. Can they find some spirit and an equaliser, most importantly? Referee says it's another corner. And comes one back. His box. One back. Just threw herself at it. Oh, the stars and stripes of the USA struggling to find a way back here. They've got to use the ball better than that. It's come here for one back. Oh, she's got it. Oh, what a save by Andrea. Brazil, careless, gave the ball away, one back here. It was heading to the bottom corner, the fingertips of Andrea, saving Brazil. Rapino, again the Brazil back line holding firm enough. Rapino again. Oh, a little bit too clever. Marta. She's got the energy, Rampone just trying to block her path and free kick given to the USA. Rampone with a free kick, looking long for one back. They're doing that more and more, looking for the flick on to Morgan here. It's Alex Morgan. Not quite as accomplished as the Marta flick in a similar area. We're just past the midway point of the first period of extra time. Marta, so good, she has her name on her boots. One back within inches, centimetres, of finding an equaliser for the United States. Both coaches still have substitutions available to them. Just one used by Clayton Lima for Brazil. Two for the US have been taken by Pia Sundhager with Rapino and Morgan on. It's Fabiana, came off Rapino. Cristiana's onto this. And it's off Rampo, and that should be a corner. Marta, who's uh, 
seemingly loved and hated in equal measure here. Another discussion from the referee. Erica and Box. Oh, and Solo claws it away. That was bending all the way in. Big leap, big stretch, big punch. Another goal now for Brazil, and you just wonder if uh, that would be a step too far for the USA. Alina. The pill bit. Steers it into that to neutral territory. Franciella. Formiga. Oh, Eric has stayed up here. Flags up. Well, I have to say, these officials are being um, meticulous. Good call, correct call, nothing wrong with that. Sometimes it's a, a fine line between being uh, totally accurate and uh, being just a fraction too fussy. I just wonder what the USA have left in the tank here. I have to say they've uh, played with remarkable spirit since uh, losing Rachel Bueller. And all credit to them for keeping two attackers on there. So often, uh, I mean, I was talking earlier about maybe plugging a gap in midfield, but it's not even been evident, such has been the work rate of the uh, USA players who are out there. There are going to be some uh, utterly exhausted players out there when this match is over. We've only got a few minutes of the first period of extra time to go. Marta trying to swing it long. Oh, and Hope Solo has uh, stayed back. What do you do now? China's assistant coach four years ago, of course, Pia Sundhager. When she uh, took over the job. She won the Algarve Cup, she uh, won the Olympics in Beijing in 2008. Here's Fabiana, Erica, wide right, Christiana on the far side, going for a bullet. Well, she certainly put her shooting boots on today, that's for sure. Rampone. You see, with an injury, but uh, back, back on her feet. Christiane, Marta. Franciella, oh clever, Formiga, well cut out by the Pelbet. Well, Brazil here in the last minute of the first period of extra time. Curl it in and out again. Similar routine to last time, really, but not needing the save from Solo.
Oh, Solo did so well just to uh, tip that away. Well, communication between defender and goalkeeper, each uh, giving each other a little bit of a pat. One added minute at the end of the first period, just signalled. There's Marta. Marta, who potentially could be on a hat-trick here now. We've had one from Hamare Sawa. Marina. Formiga. Cristiano. Marta. Look at the space there, but offside. Well, it's almost like walking a tightrope for the USA defenders here. But again, that's another good call. They've got, to, they've got those right largely today, I, I would say, the officials, if not all of them. Interesting to hear what the reaction of the coaches is to that uh, retaken penalty after the game. A pivotal moment in the match. That's the end of the first period of extra time and Brazil leading with Marta scoring in the second minute of that 15-minute period. It's given Brazil the lead for the first time in the contest. It'll be a quick turnaround here, but it's Brazil 2, the USA 1. Fifteen minutes from the semi-finals. The referee will want the restart taken again here. So fifteen minutes from the semi-finals, Brazil. Fifteen minutes for the USA to find an equaliser despite the player disadvantage. Bueller sent off midway through the second half of regulation time. Marta having converted the retaken penalty and then having swept in, hooked in a uh, wonderfully taken goal, it has to be said for Brazil early in uh, extra time here. Krieger's throw. It's uh, a real credit to the fitness levels of the players out there that they've managed to keep the uh, tempo of the match the way they have done. It's Rapino. Quickly into Le Palbert, who goes down. And there's a big roar from the USA fans. Nothing doing from the referee. Rapino. No great reaction from the players, it has to be said. One back. Spreading it. And for my money, you'd never tell that Brazil had the extra player. Krieger, good run from her. O'Reilly. And ball, Marina. Not uh, deliberate. Well, <laughs> having said that, there are some who disagree with that. Now that was the uh, contact from Christiane in the penalty area on Lapel bet. Mm. Rapino. Never say die, USA. Can they fight back here? On back, rising. What another change here. And uh, O'Reilly is coming off and Tobin Heath coming on. Come on, she says. Well, the adrenaline is coursing through the veins now.
It is a make or break match and uh, we are right on the cusp. Franciele, Marta. Oh, sublime. Not many players can improvise like that. And when uh, Marta produces a through ball just so nonchalantly like that, it's uh, she makes it look effortless. Here you go, look at this. Just the foot rolling over the ball and then seeing the run of Franciella lifting it over. Deft, absolutely wonderful. Formiga to Lapelbet, who looking for the quick release for one back. It's not good enough, it's too strong. This is where tiredness plays such a big part. One back, just pointing out to the referee to make sure they add uh, some extra time for any seconds being wasted here with any delays in this throw. One back, Rapino goes for it. Rapino on here for Box at 34 years of age Shannon Box still full of running offering the opportunity if not to if not the the ball that can give Morgan and Wambach a shooting chance Nicely gathered in, but uh, Brazil giving it away. Alina only found Rapino. Now Morgan, suddenly lots of activity in the area. The cutback not clean enough, not true enough, not accurate enough. But promising signs for the USA, who just keep knocking on that door. Sooner or later, maybe they'll find the key. Oh, down inside the area again. They're appealing this time. One back went screaming over to the referee. Rapino. But a chance here, maybe. Morgan. Krieger. Lloyd. Oh. <laughs> That's rare. Back off the corner flag and still in play, and then the foul from Carly Lloyd. But I think a couple of penalty appeals in this uh, extra time for the USA. This was the latest one now. Morgan going through, Fabiana's got control. And there, Lloyd with a foul on Formiga. I think the referee and the assistants have got that right. Brazil taking their time. This is uh, this is normal practice, I suppose, in these situations. Brazil with a player off the pitch, and the yellow card here, I think, for time wasting. confirm that to yellow card for you in just a second if it was uh, Diana she would miss the semi-final but it might have been uh, Marina there you go Marina it is here goes Cristiano oh dazzling footwork she's toppled for a free kick And these uh, stoppages just help kill momentum in the match. Box has clearly just tapped her ankle. For Miga having to be replaced by Renata Costa. And a yellow card shown there to uh, Shannon Box, I think. So Brazil make their change. Here's uh, Renata Costa. 
who was on the uh, loudspeaker earlier when the uh, players came in with a musical instrument. She was with the loud hailer, singing along merrily. Marina. Not what you'd call a trademark Brazilian free kick, but it's just helped kill a few more seconds. There's the confirmation of the caution for Shannon Box. Rapino, still just one goal in it. Six and a half minutes to go. Rapino in, Heath attacks it. Brazil away. And there's uh, Renata Costa, who, as I mentioned, had come on for Formiga. Here's a corner. Again, Brazil needing to uh, defend strongly here. USA, I'm sure, will just pile everybody forward now. They're almost at the point of no return. Rapino with it. Lloyd makes her run. Wham back behind. It's a USA throw. Krieger in a rush. But uh, Brazil with a player down inside the six yard box here. Just trying to see if that's uh, Erica. Yeah. Well, you can see uh, Erica just in the middle of your picture there. What's happened there? Oh, she's just gone down for no reason whatsoever. Is it Erica or Franciella? It is Erica. Well, did she just have some uh, stomach cramps? Quite possible. So hot. But on comes the uh, stretcher. Just watch here. She went up for the header there. She's walking OK inside the six-yard box and then suddenly just buckles over. And the medical staff quickly on here. And the referee insisting that she be uh, taken off the field. All this should be time added on by the Australian referee. Brazil have only made two changes. USA have used all three. Oh, and now she's back up off the stretcher. Hence the whistles. Well, USA try to fashion an opening here. Here's Lapelbet in towards Rapino and Lloyd. Well, I tell you something, she gets off the stretcher as if there's absolutely nothing wrong. Well, the referee waves her back on and I think he's going to show her a yellow card. Yes, there you go. Well done, referee. Erica, I think, pulled a fast one, as we say. In towards Lloyd. There's Box. Well, everybody has the greatest of sympathy with players at this stage of a match, especially when they've given it their heart and soul. But when they go over as if... Uh, They've been poleaxed, they get stretched up off, but as soon as they're off the field, they get up as smartly and quickly as that. Well, you just know that uh, simulation is going on. So the USA. What can they find here when it really matters? When it really matters, what have the USA got?
backs to the wall. A goal down, a player down. This could be as good a chance as they get, but the shot from Lloyd fired wide. Well, nicely constructed, but never threatening Andrea's goal. Here's the yellow card for Erica. The referee really hasn't uh, missed a, a trick there. Simulation. Oh, 26 shots in this match. Um, we are closing in on the end of this quarter-final that was billed as the biggest of the weekend. Germany and uh, Japan, England, France, Sweden, Australia might argue with that, but the teams ranked one and three in the world colliding here in Dresden. Oh, Rampone's error. Marta's in. Marta inside the penalty area. Chance here, maybe. Can Franciella finish? No. And Hope Solo with a big whack towards Morgan. 120th minute but there will be a fair amount of stoppage time you would suspect if there isn't it would be criminal and after all the delays some of which have been uh, justified and some of which clearly have not referees quite rightly stamped down on uh, any of that sort of time wasting Marta And uh, referee just deciding what she's going to give. It's a goal kick. The biggest call possibly in this FIFA Women's World Cup was to give Brazil the chance to retake their penalty. That will be analysed and scrutinised again and again, I'm sure. Rapino, can the USA fight it here? Box holds it up. Heath. Brazil with a chance to regroup, Box is free. Shannon Box in the box, it might drop here. Chance for Lloyd! Oh, that was maybe the moment. Three added minutes. It ain't over yet, folks. But Lloyd with as good a chance as she might get. Trying to keep it under control. Well when the adrenaline's pumping in such circumstances it's perfectly understandable but the USA with uh, just over two minutes now left the number one ranked nation in the world heading out as it stands Germany already out Brazil looking to play France in Mönchengladbach in the semis on Wednesday Cristiano Lloyd striding, stretching forward here for the USA. It has been a huge, wholehearted effort from the States. Rapino, one back! Two, two! That's what you call USA, razzle dazzle! Heart, spirit, oh, they've got it by the bucket load! What a finish! One back. Oh, Brazil heart sink, but the USA saw. One back rises, plants the header. If you want it to go to anyone, you want it to go to one back. What a finish! The script really written for that lady. We are set for penalties. Oh, such relief for Solo. They do not know what it's like to be beaten. Never give up, never surrender. There is always hope. It's always been a match that threatened to offer something 
quite dramatic, quite special, and we have had it. Well, Brazil, so often the bridesmaids, they must have thought they'd won it. Has she got the final word? Solo blocks near post. It is the most thrilling conclusion. It is all over. And we have penalty kicks to see who will play in the semi-finals. Well, well, well. He must have thought Munchen Gladbach Wednesday. She had other ideas. One back. The heroine. What a huge moment. And for Marta, who'd curled in that wonderful second for Brazil. Goodness me. Well, it's 2-2 at the end of extra time. Penalties to come. Do not... <laughs> do not miss it. I'm sure you're not going anywhere. But it is 2-2. Brazil and the USA have both been involved in shootouts before. USA against China in the final, 1999. Brazil against Norway in the match for third place. Brazil and the USA both came out 5-4 winners in a shootout. They have pulled the proverbial rabbit out of the hat. And now it's all about what the two teams can do from 12 yards. So penalty kicks to decide the last of our four semi-finalists in this FIFA Women's World Cup. No one ever wants such a major match to be settled this way, but when two teams like this have given absolutely everything, well, when you can't separate them, this is what it comes down to. Shannon Box with the first of the penalty kicks. I wonder how much mind games will come into this. Andrea. The 33-year-old Brazilian goalkeeper to face the first penalty. Calm heads needed now. After such a remarkable conclusion to extra time. USA have a chance that maybe looked as if it was beyond them for so long. It's Shannon Box. And it's saved by Andrea. She's a mile off her line. It'll be retaken. It's going to be retaken. She's a mile off her line. Now, this is where you see how she takes two or three strides forward. They have to stay on the line. It's as simple as that. That's the point I made about Hope Solo earlier on. That's why it has to be encroachment, the reason that that was retaken. Hope Solo and take a breather. Shannon Box. This time she finds the corner. 1-0 USA. Well, the referee in the uh, lead up to this will often talk to the uh, the two teams and the goalkeepers in particular to say, please take note, you must stay on your line. Do you remember when uh, she faced Cristiano's penalty in the uh, second half? She told Hope Solo to do that. Well, here it is again, Cristiano against Hope Solo. It's a quick one and it's 1-1. One -one. Solo going one way, Cristiane not really giving her time to think. Okay, 
Next, Carly Lloyd, the player who scored the winning goal against Brazil in the Olympic Games final in Beijing. Will Andrea stay on her line this time? Carly Lloyd. Oh, really good penalty. Punches the air in delight. Crisp, firm and powerful enough to beat Andrea. Andrea who extends to uh, such a size. She's been told that she has to keep uh, away from the 18-yard box. It's Marta coming forward for Brazil now. Well, she has been the villain of the piece for the USA fans. Is there a little twist in the tale here? Five times FIFA's World Player of the Year facing up to Hope Solo. One on one. Marta scores. 2-2. Two -two. No one's put a foot wrong yet. No one except Andrea. Well, Abby Wambach came up with the... Well, almost the last touch of the 120 minutes. The best goals per game ratio of any USA player of all time. It's Wambach. Oh, great kick, great kick. She really means business. Andrea spreading herself and trying to make the target look as small and difficult as possible. Diana, whose own goal put the USA in front so early in the contest. She's already had one terrible moment tonight. Diana. Oh, saved by Solo! Is that the moment for the USA? Diana's night goes from bad to worse. Oh, great save. Well, that gives the USA the advantage. They convert these next two. They are home and dry. Rapino. Both sets of players gathered in the centre circle. Arms intertwined. Megan Rapino, the substitute for the USA. Oh, it's 4-2. And they are now just one away. The critical moment of this FIFA Women's World Cup semi-final. Uh, 15, Franciella is the player who has to score. She has to score and does just There's a card in there for uh, Franciello too. Or is it? No, it's no card. There's, uh, the referee's just making a note of the name. Sorry, someone just suggesting that she's been booked, and I'm thinking, what for? What for? No, she's fine. But this is the moment. Alex Krieger. If she scores this, the USA head for the semi finals and knock out Brazil. Semi finals! The USA have pulled the rabbit from the hat and they have won the shootout 5 3. The number one ranked nation in the world has done the impossible. It looked beyond them. At 2 1 with a player off, it didn't.
didn't look possible, but somehow won back with that last ditch header. And now Krieger, from the penalty spot, has sunk Brazil, and the USA are heading back to the final. Krieger planting the final kick here. Andrea guessed the correct direction, but Krieger, a picture of concentration. And the USA march on. Well, it has been the most thrilling of finales. Sympathies, of course, for Brazil, who've given so much to this tournament and who once again have failed at the last. Bueller there in tears. Final score here. Brazil 2, the USA 2, and the USA win. 5-3 on penalties. Pia, yeah, congratulations. This was an emotional roller coaster just to watch. How, what was it like for you? Uh, <laughs> I have no words. It, uh, it's phenomenal. The, the goal and then the, the PKs. It, it, somebody's writing this book. And it's something about the American attitude and find a way to win. Unbelievable. What does it say about your team that you're literally down to the last minute or two in extra time and you tie this up? Well, just look at the face. And, it, and, and it's contagious. I come from Sweden. I got opportunity to coach this wonderful team. And it is contagious, the great attitude, and they bring out the best performance in each other. Rachel Bueller got the red card that led to uh, their first goal for Brazil. She was in tears after this game. What does this mean to get her off the hook? I don't know. Well, that, we'll, we'll deal with that tomorrow. Right now, I'm the happiest person on earth. Yeah, congratulations. Thank you very much. Thanks.